go guys, first impression of the 2019 AGP PR7. I've recently just sold my wee SWM RS650R, which was a corky a wee bike, but uh, I was feeling it uncomfortable because of the, the saddle and riding position, but it was a nice bike, but I thought I got the chance of this at a good price. So I thought, why not just go for it? And uh, first impressions, it's a corkery a wee bike. I've nothing to complain about. It's got the usual front 21 inch wheel, obviously, but look at these hubs. <laughs> you would think it was Talon, and these spokes are definitely a heavy graded stainless steel. The back's obviously sitting on an 18 wheel. And at by 140 by 80. Right now it's coming with the TKC 80 tyres on it. But when you start looking at the wee bike, the detail on it's really, really nice. Look at the way that, that the colour of the frame goes all the way down and around. This, this lovely wee 600 engine that comes for the SWM, which was originally the Husqvarna 610 engine. So it's a well proven engine. Standard form, it's thrown at roughly 48 brake horsepower. But uh, this one's got the, the Doma exhaust system on it and it's actually got the uprated sports EC unit which is thrown at about 60 brake. But no, you, there's, there's no much you can actually see wrong with this wee bike. It's sitting on this satch, fully progressive adjustable suspension. And you're running about the 320mm ground clearance on it. It's on a stand, obviously, right now. So it was a Fort Travel that I was looking for a little bit more. Uh, because the SWM's about the 280 or something like that. Seat height, just over 36 inch to the seat height, which would be about 920mm. But, what can you say? Yeah. I'm actually going to show you some of the wee things that I'm impressed with with the bike. Cracking big tablet in the front of it, your wee ignition, but it's just the simple wee things like put the key in here, turn it, and it lifts off. Now, first impressions, you've got this cracking 17 litre fuel tank right at the back here, very similar to the way that he is, but it's a uh, the service fuel tank and it's really really rigid and solid and you can just look under here see so you've got the tank on either side here but it's really just well finished you've got the fuel point at the front here so compared with the 690 the fuel points at the back and if you've got luggage on pin in the back side taking the luggage off comes with this lithium battery ECU's here, so I've got two ECU's, I've got the standard ECU and the sports ECU but just the silly wee things, like look at this inline fuel filter here perfect, fuel pumps just down here it's just these nice wee touches it's got to it and this is the way the bike comes, it comes with these look at these Acerbis guards, aluminium through them cracking rally tower on it comes with a substantial stump guard on it compared with other models. Look at that sump guard, it's a corker. There's obviously the risk of the, the header pipes getting a wee click and this overflow expansion bottle looks exposed but it's flexible, I don't see it being an issue. Look at the standard pegs on it. Nope. Now this is the 2019 model, uh, 2020 comes with Brembo's but these brakes are adequate bordering on slightly wooden whether it's a different compound I need to change in the pads I don't know but I can live with that all day long when you look at the build quality of the wee bike and this tablet at the front I don't know a lot about it but uh, it's a Samsung tablet let's see how we go and uh, it's independent of the bike uh, You've got your speedometer and your time here and you've got a place for your app so you can put your trail apps in it. I'm not really sure how that works so I'm not going to talk a lot about it but it's waterproof. It comes off the bike completely so you can take it in the house and uh, 
loads your maps on, but it's just the quality of the finish. It's really superb. And when you start her, So, the previous owner put this cracking wee stainless steel rear rack on it. Now, I've only done about 90 miles on it, half on the road, half off road, so I'll need to put it through its paces, but the first run off road with it, it was really, really smooth. Uh, suspension was nice on it. Certainly when you fully fuel it with your 17 litres and the tools, i.e. puncture repair stuff etc on the back you can feel it but it's still really really well balanced so it was really just a quick a quick talk about it just a, just a quick show of what the bike what the bike looks like because it's unlikely I'll have the bike looking as clean as this again so I thought let's show the guys it just now before I get it filthy cheers